From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new favorite show. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game. Here's the appealing fruit himself, the dancing banana. Monumental Landmarks The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous and recognizable structures in the world. But what's up with its name? It sounds like somebody marked it as something they fell off of. Like, oh yeah, over there's the Eiffel Tower. I called it that because I fell off it. <laughs> but no, seriously, who is the tower named after? <laughs> that works for me. Shapes and such. New from the Admiral Electronic Catalog, this all-in-one washer, dryer, ironer, folder wearer is sure to put the ease in easy living for you and your household. Simply insert your dirty laundry and the machine will take it from there. It washes your clothes, it dries your clothes, it irons your clothes, it folds your clothes, it even wears your clothes. What? What kind of triangle has one angle that measures precisely 90 degrees? <laughs> sure, whatever.
Memorable events. After a series of very interesting time travel related incidents, you just missed it. I'm stuck in the. Probably geography. A certain continent features a region called the Indian subcontinent, which contains countries such as India, Nepal, and Bangladesh, among others. What continent is this region located in? No way! Puzzling puzzlers. Very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty. Hey, kids! It's your old pal Forty. This setup pipe has four openings and four exits. You need to pour water in one of the openings so it reaches the exit with the bucket beneath it. The water will only flow downward with gravity and will not go upward through any pipes. Which opening do you pour the water through? <laughs> Thanks for having me! See you next time! What's the word? I thought I heard someone say something about delicious pancakes. <gasps> and I was right! It's $50 worth of delicious brand pancake mix! Delicious brand pancake mix provides better, more delicious pancakes for you and your whole family. Sit down to a nice, wholesome meal that'll take you away to another world of deliciousness. <laughs> Look, I cannot stress enough that you should play the obby I worked really hard on. Oh, wait. Has anyone ever really described what an obby is? What term is it a shortened version of? <laughs> It's an IOU for one fabulous prize! 
I ran out of time and couldn't find anything good. But you can redeem this at some point in the future for a real prize. I swear. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood! This episode is sponsored by Lazy Brand Lazy Obstacles, the leading supplier of red plastic rectangles that can sometimes be interpreted as lava. Speaking of which, you should play my hobby sometime. I worked really hard on it, you know. Recorded on tape, but technically live for our studio audience, it's Shovelware's Brain Game! He's got smiles for miles! It's your host, the Dancing Banana! Memorable events. <laughs> Why settle for a rectangular TV when you can have one that's shaped like a banana? This dancing banana themed CRT television is here to bring some color into your life. With its bright yellow exterior and inviting expression, TV time will be that much more fun compared to the boring old TV you have now. Imagine you could be watching Shovelware's Brain Game and see double the dancing banana. And who wouldn't want that? <laughs> With their iconic overalls, red and green caps, and let's-a-go attitude, the Wright brothers are known for saving a certain fungus-infested kingdom from... No? Wrong brothers? Oh, oh! With their iconic flying contraptions and never-give-up attitude, the Wright brothers are widely credited as the duo to first create a motorized aircraft. What year did they take their first flight? <laughs> Not a chance. 
Big laundry. Hey, so shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called again? Put in the effort and you run. I mean, those are really difficult hobbies that I. <laughs> so if anybody wants to trade up, I'm I'm around. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Flags of the world. How many stripes are there on the flag of the United States of America? What's the word? Cabbage! And the cheap kind, too! Look, I only had so much budget to get these prizes together, okay? This was gonna be my dinner. Sorry, but have you seen what they're doing with AI these days? They're using it to replicate speech, trying to make it sound like real people. Do you realize what this means? I'm gonna be out of a job. I can't keep up with the output a machine voice can do. They can just keep cranking takes out. But me doing voice work takes it out of me. I've got to have periods of rest. Like, can you imagine being made to say line after line after line without time to stop and rest your voice? Those robot voices don't need that. They can just keep on going and going and going. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm waving my hands around wildly to make my points as I describe this nightmare scenario. What word best describes what I'm doing? Talking about states. It's an ace of spades! Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the Union?
Nonsense, non sequiturs. <laughs> this glossy 8x10 headshot of Forty the Smart Board. Not only that, but it's signed by Bordy himself, one of Canada's most famous and recognizable celebrities. Known for his work portraying the iconic mascot character Bordy the Smart Board at various trade shows and other events, Bordy has been voted Tech Magazine's Smartiest Board Alive for three consecutive years in a row. Perfect for the ultimate Bordy fan or any opportunistic internet resellers. <laughs> Which is better, Melee or Ultimate? <laughs> You've just posted cringe! Signature all metal dancing banana lunchbox. What time is it? It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich time. Keep your lunch nice and fresh all morning in this convenient container. Here's our shovelware's brain game grand champion. That's all for this round, but we'll be right back with another episode in just a few minutes. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by March's Grocery Store. Swampy foods, swampy prices. Recorded on tape, but technically live for our studio audience, it's Shovelware's Brain Game! Here's the appealing fruit himself, the Dancing Banana!
Zoo Pals. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty! Hey, kids! It's your old pal, Forty! What is the name of this animal? <laughs> That's right! I've got to go ride some of the rides while I'm here! See you later! Big Laundry In wrestling, there's a move in which one wrestler runs at the other, holding their arm out beside them, knocking them over. It shares its name with a tool used in the process of drying laundry. What is it? Nonsense non sequiturs. <laughs> Only the power of what can stop the beast? <laughs> Shapes and such. If you saw a three-dimensional object that looked like a perfect circle from all sides, what would you call that shape? <laughs> That's right! Puzzling Puzzlers The Dancing Banana's brother has three sons. Each of his sons has a sister. How many children does the Dancing Banana's brother have? <laughs> Shovelware Studios <laughs> Hello, me old chums. This question is about the garden gnomes in Super Slime Simulator. How many gnomes are there in the yard stage? <laughs> Big 
This cool rock I found outside the studio. I mean, these prizes can't all be winners, but hey, it could be your cool rock. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood! Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies! No, seriously, they made us to make this! Filmed on a soundstage at Shovelware Studios Hollywood and live in front of a studio audience, it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game! What time is it? Time to bring out the host of the show, the one, the only, Dancing Banana! Probably geography. I love paper boats. You know, I used to love sending them sailing down the creek by my house, but lately I've been wanting more. More challenge, more adventure, more water. If I wanted to send a paper boat sailing down the longest river in the world, which river would I need to put it in? <laughs> Memorable events. <laughs> After a series of very interesting time travel related incidents, you just missed it. I'm stuck in the early 1900s and need to get myself a ride. Something cheap. Oh, you know, cars are probably pretty early in their development in this time period. What's the first affordable car? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
science rules. What is the largest organ of the human body? I want to know for um reasons. What's the word? We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Sporty! This is a question for me, Sporty! Jacob Gander! This image is an illustration of the process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. What word best describes this? <laughs> Math Zone What is 37 minus 12? <laughs> Good enough! I don't like that. Which U.S. president is known for saying, The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. This self-help book I had in my car. Listen, um, between you and me, I'm probably going to need it back pretty soon. But you can borrow it for now, okay? You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! Don't touch that dial! Shovelware's Brain Game will be back with another new episode after a short break. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Friendly Burger. When you're here, you're friendly.
Uh-huh, yeah, extra pepperoni. 30 minutes or it's free? Yeah, great. That's, oh, oh, it's a shovelware's brain game! <laughs> and now, introducing everyone's favorite fruit, it's the dancing banana! Shapes and such. <laughs> If you add up every angle of any triangle, what sum will you get every time? Science rules. <laughs> You'll receive a round trip travel compensation to the Marsh's grocery store location down the street. But that's not all. As a bonus, you'll also receive an exclusive look at my personal shopping list and the unspoken implication that I'm expecting you to return with the items written on it. We're running low on cheese, by the way. <laughs> Chemical elements are all made up of atoms. Well, I mean, everything's made up of atoms, but still, what sets one chemical element apart from another one? if they're both made up of atoms. <laughs> Nonsense non sequiturs. <laughs> Who did this? Laughing crying emoji. <laughs> <laughs> 
Flags of the world. <laughs> From left to right, in which order are the three prominent colors on Mexico's flag? Artistic integrity. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board. Hi ho, Bordy the Smart Board here. Have a look. What is the name of this famous painting by Vincent Van Gogh? <laughs> Another question down! See you all later! Science rules! It's the Board of Entertainment himself, Forty the Smart Board! Here. Take a look at this. This is a scientific instrument used to inspect things too small to be seen by the naked eye. What is it called? Another question down! See you all later! A box? <gasps> A... <gasps> Twenty... <gasps> Harmonicas! That's... <gasps> as many... <gasps> as two boxes... <gasps> of ten harmonicas! <gasps> and that's wonderful! <gasps> Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's all the time we have. If anyone needs me, I'll be sleeping in my car until we start filming the next episode.
This episode is sponsored by the good folks at Harkinian's Home Appliances. Order before dinner and they'll ship it in the morning. It's time to bring the brain! Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Game! He's the star of the show, and he signs my paycheck. It's the Dancing Banana! Taste test. <laughs> My friends in Europe have been begging me to try Bratwurst. Bratwurst this, Bratwurst that. I'm supposed to try it and report back to them by tonight. But I have no idea what a Bratwurst even is. Help me out. You've just posted cringe. <laughs> Science rules. As seen in Shrunken School Lobby, it's the Infrigerator from Von Bootleg Brands. That's right, it was product placement the whole time. With removable inner shelves and real boxing glove action, the Infrigerator is sure to help you keep your nefarious revenge against society properly served cold. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored, but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Boards! Hi-ho! Bordy the Smart Board here! 
Look at this diagram of a cell! What is the part in the very center called? That's right! Another question down! See you all later! Alas, poor Yorick! Uh, line? I don't like that. Which U.S. president is known for saying, The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Flags of the world. From left to right, in which order are the three prominent colors on Mexico's flag? Big laundry. We know you love them. Here's Forty the Smart Board. Another one? Oh, okay. Um, here it is. What's the name of this Scottish skirt like garment? I've got to go ride some of the rides while I'm here. See you later. Hey. 
A trip for you and your whole family to gay Paris. Pronounced Paris. Oh. That's right, a lovely trip to Paris, France. You'll be flown out and dropped off underground, left to wander the catacombs of Paris, which will offer you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> You're this episode's grand champion. Don't touch that dial. Shovelware's Brain Game will be back with another new episode after a short break. This episode is sponsored by Lazy Brand Lazy Obstacles, the leading supplier of red plastic rectangles that can sometimes be interpreted as lava. Speaking of which, you should play my hobby sometime. I worked really hard on it, you know. Filmed on a soundstage at Shovelware Studios Hollywood and live in front of a studio audience, it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game! What time is it? Time to bring out the host of the show, the one, the only, Dancing Banana! Puzzling Puzzlers The Dancing Banana's brother has three sons. Each of his sons has a sister. How many children does the Dancing Banana's brother have? Science rules. 
You're under arrest. The charges brought against you? You jumped up into the air and didn't come back down. You just kind of hung there midair. In this instance, which of Newton's laws did you break? Shapes and such. If you add up every angle of any triangle, what sum will you get every time? Artistic integrity. We've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Forty! I like visual question. Take a look at these colors. You have the primary colors of pigment, but then they overlap and make other colors. What's the name for these colors created by the primary colors mixing? No way! Another question down! See you all later! I don't like that. Acrophobia is the fear of what? Shovelware Studios. Deep in the halls of the shrunken school lies a secret button that opens a secret door even deeper. In this dark secret room, there's an item being sold. What might it be?
You're going to Brazil! That's right, you and your whole family are going to Brazil! Explore the sights and sounds of South America on this six-month-long mandatory excursion to Rio de Janeiro that you cannot back out of! I repeat, you will be locked into this obligation with absolutely no way out! This cannot be undone if you win this prize! Here's our Shovelware's Brain Game Grand Champion! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same! Ha, I'd like to see that pompous pepper over Google Games put on half a show as good as this. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Shovelware Foods. If you try hard enough, it's edible. educational content don't touch that dial it's time for shovelwares he's got smiles for miles it's your host the dancing banana Science rules. What is the scientific study of the atmosphere? I want to get into it, so maybe I can do something about this pesky, rainy weather. <laughs> I don't like that. Which phobia is the fear of repeating patterns and clusters of small holes?
It's lit, fam. <laughs> I have a fence that needs painting, but I can't be bothered to do it myself. Which character from classic American literature could I go to for advice on how to scam others into doing it for me? Not a chance. <laughs> Math zone. Okay, get this. If you had 453 watermelons and somebody gave you an extra 1,268, how many watermelons total would you have? Science rules. What is the freezing point of water? I'm trying to freeze some right now, and it's just, you know, normal cold water, which is fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Help me out, would you? We're friends, right? I consider us friends anyway. Hey, don't give me the cold shoulder. I don't like that. I have a friend who can't stand spiders. He gets the absolute heebie-jeebies any time he's around one. <laughs> he can't stand their fuzzy bodies, their eight legs, their numerous eyes. What is the name of my friend's phobia? <laughs> This goldfish I got from my dentist last week. I was such a good patient during the visit that I got this as a reward. I only screamed and thrashed and cried and yelled just a little bit. But then I realized that my apartment doesn't allow pets, so it's yours if you win it.
You're this episode's grand champion! That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Crazy Air. When you need to travel, fly crazy!